Gavin Quimby is a four-year-old boy from Winona who is battling a rare brain disease which at this time has no known cure. A group of Gavin supporters have rallied and will be holding a benefit for Gavin and his family this weekend. Nikki McDonald and Kurt Lawson talk about Gavin and this weekend's event. The Quimby family has a son named Gavin and Gavin has a disease called leukodystrophy. And um, the disease is um, potentially fatal and at this time there's no cure. Um, the medications that Gavin, uh, the four-year-old boy Gavin is taking are experimental drugs at this time which mostly are not covered by the insurance companies. So the, the Quimby family needs financial help. Um, they need to get, you know, on their feet here. So we're um, organizing a benefit to um, take care of that. Raise money. We're going to have a live auction, a silent auction, a bake sale. Um, there'll be petting pork zoo. dinner. Yep, petting zoo. Other th activities going throughout the day for the whole family. Come out and support the Quimby family and Gavin. We're going to have a silent auction from 11 o'clock and it will end at 2 and there'll be many baskets to bid on. Um, things like twin tickets, um, tools. The live auction will start at 3 and we'll have a hockey stick signed by the Blackhawks. We'll have Viking tickets, we'll have um, twin tickets, we have a preseason Packer game tickets, we have a week timeshare. Um, a canoe, um, concrete, just numerous things. So something for everybody. Gavin, because he likes superheroes so much, um, the group has gotten together and developed a movie about Gavin and Gavin Saves Winona. Um, it will be premiered at two o'clock and everyone's welcome to come for that premiere and watch it. It's gonna be pretty good. Oh, it's gonna be good. <laughs> <laughs> Gavin saved the city and got a key. He got awarded by the mayor a key to the city for saving the city. So Nick and Shanna are both uh, military veterans. Shanna was a medic in the army and Nick was an MP in the Marines. And he was, he was sent to Iraq for a tour. Um, now she's a surgical tech in La Crosse at Gunderson and Nick's a police officer. So they've spent their whole lives helping people around them, keeping us safe and healthy. And now, unfortunately, they need our help. So this is um, kind of turned into a large event because we're trying to turn the tables around to get them you know, the help that they need now. We have shirts um, that, with a Gavin superhero logo. Gavin really likes Superman. So we have shirts available. They're on the website. Gavin flying for a cure. You can buy them or they'll be available at the event. We also have some here at the police department. If you want to stop in, you can pick one up here. Um, during business hours, of course. So, and ticket, tickets are available here too. Yep, right? okay. for eight dollars for a pork dinner the day of the event. And we're asking a lot of people that um, that would like to donate or that have committed to donate but haven't gotten around to it yet to please go ahead and do so because um, they really do need our help and um, it's going to turn into a great event. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to make it into a really a celebration and just have a lot of fun. So. And people that aren't able to come that day, they can donate at Merchants Bank. There's been an account set up there for Gavin. Again, the benefit is Saturday, July 26th from 11 a.m. until 9 p.m. at the Elks Lodge in Goodview. And all donations will be matched by Thrive and Financial for Lutherans. You can find complete details at GavinFlyingForACure.com.